Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to transform the standard form of the equation of the parabola to its general form. So we have two standard form of the equation of the parabola. The first one is the quantity y minus k square equals 4p times x minus h. And yung corresponding general form yun naman is magiging y square plus dx plus ey plus f equal to 0. Then yung second standard form ng ating equation is x minus h square equals 4p times y minus k. Then ang kanya namang corresponding general form is x square plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. So, let's have uh, some example. So, transform the standard form of the equation of the parabola to its general form. Number 1, we have x squared equals 8, 8 times y plus 7. So, dito guys, uh, ang general form ng ating parabola is laging naka-equate kay 0. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin dito kay number 1 is mailipat lahat ng nasa right side papunta sa left side. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito is i-distribute natin si 8 doon sa binomial natin. So, that is x square equals 8y plus 8 times 7 that is 56. Okay? So, pwede na nating i-transpose yung ating 8y and 56 sa left side ng ating equation. And that is x square minus 8y, then minus 56 equal to 0. So, ito na ngayon yung ating general form ng ating parabola. Okay? So, kung i-identify naman natin si DEF, Ang d natin dito is equal to 0 since ang d natin is yung coefficient ni x. Okay? So, since missing yung ating x variable sa ating equation, yung d natin is equal to 0. Followed by e. Ang e natin dito is we have negative 8. Yun yung ating uh, coefficient ng y variable. Then, ang f natin is equal to negative 56. Okay? So, let's have example number 2. So, dito we have y square equals negative 8 times the quantity of x plus 7. So, following the same procedure, distribute lang natin yung ating negative 8 dun sa ating binomial. We have negative 8x then minus 56. Okay, so after natin ma-distribute yan, pwede na natin i-transpose papunta dun sa left side. So we have y square. So yung negative 8x magiging positive 8x. Then yung negative 56, we have positive 56 equal to 0. So again, ito na yung ating magiging general form. Where d is equal to 8. Then, yung in natin dito is 0 since missing yung ating y term. Then, ang f natin is equal to 56. Okay, guys? So, number 3, we have the quantity of x minus 2 square equals negative 12y. So, dito guys, uh, yung ating uh, x term is nasa loob ng square. So, para maiayos natin yan to general form, kailangan i-expand natin yung ating binomial. Okay, so squaring the binomial, so that is equivalent to x square. Then we have negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x. Then twice, we have negative 4x. Then square the last term, that is positive 4 Okay, so equals negative 12y. So after natin ma-expand uh, ma yung ating uh, binomial, 
pwede na nating ilipat ngayon yung ating negative 12y. So that is, we have x squared minus 4x plus 12y plus 4 equal 0. So ito na ngayon yung ating magiging general form where d is equal to negative 4, e is equal to 12, and f is equal to 4. Okay? Next, we have number 4. So, y plus 3 square equals negative 20 times the quantity of x plus 4. So, ang first step natin dito, we need to square the binomial, yung y plus 3. So, by applying the square of binomial, that is equivalent to y square plus 6y plus 9. Okay? Next, dun naman sa ating right side ng ating equation, ang gagawin nyo lang dyan is, i-distribute yung ating negative 20. So, that is negative 20x minus 80. Okay? So, next is, lipat naman natin lahat sa left side. Okay? So, that is y square plus 6y. Then, yung negative 20x natin, this time magiging positive 20x. Then, we have plus 9. Then, yung negative 80, that is positive 80 equal to 0. Okay? Okay? So, combining like terms, we have y square. So, i-arrange ia ko lang dito. Dapat mauna yung ating x bago yung y. So, we have plus 20x plus 6y. Then, 9 plus 80, we have 89 equal to 0. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging general form. Where d is equal to 20. Ang I natin equal to 6 and yung F is equal to 89. Okay, so next, we have uh, number 5. Y minus 4 square equals 10 times X minus 2. So again, unang gagawin natin, we need to square the binomial. Okay, so applying the rules in squaring binomial, so that is equivalent to y square minus 8y. Then, square the last term, we have plus 16. Then, after nyan guys, distribute lang natin yung 10 dun sa binomial, that is 10x minus 20. Okay, so next step natin is we need to transpose 10x minus 20 to the left side ng ating equation. So that is y square. Then yung 10x natin magiging negative 10x minus 8y plus 16. Then yung negative 20 becomes positive 20 equal to 0. Then combine natin to guys. So that is y square minus 10x. Minus 8y, then 16 plus 20, that is 36 equal to 0. So, ito yung ating general form. Okay, so where d is equal to negative 10, ang i natin, we have negative 8, and f is equal to 36. So, last example, number 6, we have x plus 5 square equals negative 4 times the quantity of y minus 2. So, square the binomial. That is x square plus 10x plus 25 equals, so distribute natin to, that is negative 4y plus 8. Okay? So, after natin ma-distribute yan, guys, lilipat natin yung nasa right side papunta sa left side. So, that is x square plus 10x. Then, yung negative 4y natin becomes positive 4y plus 25. Then, yung 8 magiging negative 8 equal to 0. So, combining like terms, 
that we have x square plus 10x plus 4y, then 25 minus 8, that is positive 17 equal to 0. So this equation is now yung ating general form. Okay? Where d is equal to 10, then e equals to 4, and yung f equals 17. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!